Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 12 for Xerxes 2 Game of Thrones mod where we're playing the Mountain Clans of the Whale. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we finished our war against Bravos and now we have it controlled by ourselves, but the problem is in here is for some weird reason the previous guy still controls the teacher all titles and it, it doesn't make any sense because now I can't really freaking create I uh, couldn't create a republic and now I'm over my demand size limit and I couldn't create a duchy in here as well because he controls the duchy too so I need to give away these counties to some random people and that's a real pain in the butt actually I could create a lot of random people in uh, Bravas itself so let's go and do that first and maybe we're gonna be fine on force limit or not force limit but demand size uh, no not quite still we need to give away two Actually, I'm gonna be able to keep Bravos for myself temporarily until I'm gonna be able to steal this duchy. So let's go and find some extra characters. Man, not imprisoned. Any marriage, not a ruler. My religion, my culture. Adult, not a great house. Uh, yeah, someone with stewardship and some diplomacy at least. So, you're gonna receive Bravos ashore. You're gonna receive... Mm, marshes, yeah. And Bravos itself we're gonna keep for ourselves because we can. Uh, King of Bravos has usurped the title and I'll... Pardon me? What the fuck? Oh, so you usurped this one. Okay. But why this guy were your direct vassal uh, in the first place? I'm not, I'm definitely not gonna transfer you all of these vassals because you do not deserve to have them. Because you're just gonna start, uh, you're just gonna start revoking everything and you're just gonna start spreading your false religion. What I would like to try to do is try to probably force you like to rebel. And after you're gonna rebel, it's actually gonna give me the valid reason to revoke your title. Also, the worst like in the, in our country, uh, country is done, so now this event should fire. And the war has ended. Yeah, rearrange our council. Uh, don't you say is this guy gonna be considered as powerful vassal? I hope not. And yeah, what are we gonna be doing? How I'm gonna deal with this problem? And no, it should not have been present in the first place, but for some reason it for some reason it is. Could bribe some extra people, but still not gonna be enough, looks like. I need 40 extra percent, so 10, 17, 23, 28, 233. Yeah, if I were to bribe all of these people, I would have enough, but probably not gonna have enough money to bribe them all. Uh, 15, uh, 15 ducats is not that bad. 27, sure. 15, sure. 15, sure. 15. Okay, if everyone gonna cost me only 15 ducats, it's gonna be, I guess, reasonable. Uh, no, I will suffer no kings. And I'm definitely not gonna be allowed to revoke it just like this, right? Well, must have a valid reason, and my vassal is also gonna hate me for that. Which is kind of stupid, but sure. Okay, now I'm just gonna disband all the troops. Uh, oh, <laughs> there is still one, one whole troop left from the event spawn troops we received. That's great. I hope all of these vassals who I gave duchess to gonna be uh, leash loyalists, right? Right? 43 only. Huh. Envious, vicious rumors. Okay, at least they are positive uh, opinion of me, so that's something. And we don't really have much other factions have been a problem right now. What's happening here? Defend against Mir in my Mir slave raid on the Iron Throne. What? <laughs> Is Iron Throne really that weak that even uh, Mir now decided to declare a freaking slave raid on them? What's Stormont's up to? Oh, Stormont's is also... What? Stormlands are being ruled by the Targaryen? 
How's it happened? Interesting. So this guy is the king of Mirin, but his brother is the king of Stormlands. Mm, let me see the history, how it's happened. Conquered as a claimant. But he had like no, mm, no land. How you managed to conquer it? I don't know, but Stormlands apparently now been held by, by this guy. And why as a claimant? Your mother had no claim on, like, Stormlands. Okay, that's weird. But we have a Targaryen in Stormlands, and that's quite funny. How's our plot looking? 1... 104%, so... We should be able to incite him to revolt. He actually has some armies present, but I don't think... It should be too much of a problem, because if I just were to imprison him, I don't think I'm gonna be allowed to revoke his title, but if... If I were to imprison him after the rebellion, I think it's gonna be allowed. Also, we could go on and now go uh, pillage Riverlands while they're doing the, uh, their thing. Iron Throne, Golden Grove, Riverlands, Withers. Okay, why is this guy not? Oh, because he's currently... He's technically... I don't know why they're actually not called in... Into the war like vassals. Or like separate kingdoms. They're now all considered as one huge iron throne. <laughs> Something is breaking in this game, I uh, have a feeling. And also we're in command of this army and it's not really a great idea. Actually, if you're gonna be... No, we do have... We do have some different siege leaders, so... I'd rather not lead armies myself because it might be dangerous. How's our son looking? He's already 17, uh, yeah, I remember, and I gave you a strong wife. So... If in inheritance were to happen right now, everything pretty much should be fine. My co-conspirator have fabricated evidence that Lord Paramount Leash is planning to move against him. As soon as I give the word, they will present this information to him along my with my seal. 50% chance of succeed, uh, succeed and 50% chance of failing. No, 50% is actually not good enough. Let's go and wait for the better opportunity. Okay, how much armies could Riveron provide? 13,000, so I should be careful with pillage and this thing, but I'm still gonna do this. Because we need money to to pay to our vassals. To please them. No one else created any duchess around here, right? And what about twins? Still controlled by the fray. This place, still controlled by the person. By the wild link, which is great, Sigurd as well. Why are you not marrying, guys? By the way. Let's go and try to give you wife myself. Yeah, go and marry her. Start producing children. Because otherwise I would need to Uh I would need to give this Dutch away to someone else again. <clears throat> okay. We're burning down salt pads. It's great. My young acquaintance. She's not my young equipment, she's my freaking prisoner. What are you talking about? Mm. Moradea Pharrell seeks to kill Ciro Ferris. <laughs> okay. House Pharrell. Is there a Ciro in this house, Pharrell? There is. Interesting. Was slain by Marin Trant in personal combat. So this is this guy who's been uh, educating Arya. That's cool. And now this girl is at my court, or... No, she's not at my court, she's just trying to kill someone from different court, okay. My leash, it's pain to me to say, but there's a traitor in the realm. My master of whispers, fetch me the traitor. Evidence, it seems to be fishy, I should notify the post plotter. Hmm... Why this guy hates me, by the way? No idea. Nah. At the son of King Divan knows that I am aware of his schemes. What are you talking about? Oh well. It's all fine. How's Crown Loyalists looking? Why is no one the part of the Crown Loyalists except this Sigurd? 
I really hope this duke's all gonna be part of it. And they're all not trying to become married. Is it because of the old gods and stuff? Maybe it's like kind of buggy. Let's try to give them, give them wives. Ah, uh, we actually don't have. We don't have too many available. Hmm. Okay. Could we present debutants or something? Hmm. I think I only could uh, employ one courtier, so I couldn't really give them much as well, unfortunately. Oh well. Okay, burn down this thing and finish construction. Militia training ground in the air. That's awesome. Let's go and get some extra private farms. Should I run a little bit low on money? Because I'm using my personal personal troops to burn this thing down, but I think they're paying for themselves. Let's card a plot where this guy seeks to kidnap Walder once. We have all of this out of stop thing, so it should be fine. And also our plot is been over hundred percent for quite a long time already, so it probably should be firing quite soon. Well, servants such as I surely deserve some recognition and reward from time to time. It is widely known that you hold huge lands and many titles, and are as generous as your wise. Perhaps you would consider granting these humble servants a clan of bravas? Ah, uh, no. No, I want to get rid of you. You don't deserve to have any freaking lands. Clan of Bravas. You already have Dutch of Bravas, so what are you talking about? Probably talking about this county, but no. Not going to happen. Oh. Siege of quite... Oh, great. We are just... Torturing someone. Siege of quite Island. 0.5 ducats. This thing already been burned down recently. Because it's... Abysmally small amount of money to be taken from here. And 6.1. Really? Okay. That sucks. Let's go and stand down our personal troops and actually let's go and try to use our vassals instead. How's this dukes looking? 300 troops. 200 troops. Yeah, you're not replenishing all that quickly, but yeah, this new administration gonna stay for quite a, lo uh, quite a long time. Oh, Sigurd Corp powered me is 2000. It's actually pretty nice. It might be enough uh, to actually burn something down. Like this one. And it's not gonna cost me any money to maintain, so it's even better. And I think this guy is not even uh, supposed to be upset because he's a wild link as I am. Or mountain clansman. And... Yeah, he should not be upset. Okay, we have 50-50 again. Let's go and try it. I guess. If it's always gonna be 50-50, then what's the point not trying? Okay. So this guy, Martin Vell, is a state of war. We should blah blah blah. Great. This guy rebelled. Do we have armies? Oh, excuse me? What all of that? Like, well, half of the realm actually joined on his side. What the hell is that? It's bullshit. Um. Okay. I guess I'm gonna raise my personal troops. And I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go and fight you. Oh, now we have up to 58 fleets from... Oh, from here, from Bravas. That's actually great. Um, but still not quite enough to, pro to bring everyone. But we're still gonna try nonetheless. My goodness, that's crazy. Actually, if, we, if you're gonna have so many armies around here, we might not even need... Might not even need to bring our armies all the way up top, or all the way to Bravas. I could just kill his uh, allies, and it might be enough war score for us like that. Okay, my son is in here. I don't really like it. But I guess let's go and place him on charge of the armies at least once. Maybe he's not gonna get maimed immediately, and he's a flanker, so pretty decent traits. Couldn't ignore them. So, is it gonna give me any war score at all? Yes, it would. That's great. Catherine Wainwood is currently under my control. Her close relative is currently opposing us. We can rightfully execute her or imprison her as a warning to our enemies. Let's imp uh, imprison her. And you. And you. Yeah, all of your relatives are gonna get imprisoned if you're rebelling against me. 
you jerks. Oh, I could banish them for some duckies, but it's actually not even that much, so... Let's not. And... Why is no... No one else joining on my side? Oh, because I could just raise their armies like that. It's gonna be pretty inconvenient, to be honest. Because they already have 2,000 stacks around, and if I were to raise... These guys' armies are gonna be like... 100 troops. All the way around. And we have... A freaking rebellion surprising, of course. Oh, where the heck is that? Oh, in here, 400. Okay, let's go and actually kill them. Before they're gonna get... Any bigger. Using this guy. Actually, let's go and kill this army. Actually, around... Uh, around here, you don't even have... Any troops, so I don't... I don't really need to care about that much. Actually, could I raise anything from you? 700 troops. Okay. Let's actually go and try to raise troops of these dukes. Yeah, they, they have a sizable army around here. I was not expecting that. At all. Maybe it's gonna be enough to siege down anything. Yeah, 3000 troops. Okay, that's great. It's really great. Um, okay, kill your army and try to find everyone else. Hmm. Of course this guy's just running as quickly as possible. And I'm leading this... It's really annoying that you're automatically pl uh, appointing me to the army lead. I should switch this button off. Just don't appoint me. I don't want to freaking get maimed and die in combat. Okay, national revolt risk, some moral authority and stuff. And what we could do with you? Oh yeah, sacrificing you to the gods probably gonna be the best, so... Let's go and do that. You're not gonna be preaching your false gods in my awesome kingdom. Uh, your first warrior has come to you with a suggestion, my lord, in my opinion, this guy would make an excellent military commander. Who? Corwin Wycliffe, Fortin Marshal. But this guy is a powerful vassal. So, I would like to do this, but I don't want to upset my vassal, so no thanks. Okay, free 3400 troops, and you have 2000 uh, and some defenders in here. Oh, you're, this bitch is now going to be asking for freaking trial bear combat? Mm, yeah, I will select someone to stand. So who's gonna be standing for you? I'm actually not sure. Are you gonna be doing this yourself? No idea. No, I'm definitely not gonna be sending my son, so I guess we're gonna be sending this guy. Uh, great. And he's dead. Awesome! <laughs> I definitely should just go and execute them all, or banish them. Yeah, go away. I don't w uh, it also actually takes spite you from me and not... Not tells it to me in the freaking uh, pop up. But yeah, I'd better just go and banish them all. Try to avoid all this uh, stupid trial by combat happening. Oh, so this guy have 4,000 troops. What the? F From one province? How? How on earth? And I'm actually suffering attrition in the provinces of my former vassals. Not even in the provinces of my former vassals, but. And my vassals as well. 6,000. Because of harsh winter. Wow. That's fucking brilliant. And we have no leaders in charge in here for... Some reason, even though I've been appointing them a second ago. Why are we losing our command... Uh, yeah. We lost three commanders in like... Three seconds. That's great. I don't want to... Be leading again. I guess I'm gonna be placing... Why are you even showing me in the list if I forbid myself from leading armies? Should not be even a thing. Uh, 25th, 5th, okay. Let's catch you. Got defeated somewhere. No idea where is that. 
Actually, I could lead the army in here because I'm a siege leader. Just gonna increase the speed of this siege a little bit. Uh, and let's go engage this army. And actually, it's already time for me to have a break, guys. So I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue in the next episode. Let's hope that we're gonna be able to revoke his kingdom next in the next episode and we're gonna have a loyal king vassal. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.